what's up, Amnesio Cole, and shortly after the release of Watch Dogs Legion, I released a video called 5 Things Watch Dogs Legion Does Better Than Watch Dogs 2, and if you read the title and thumbnail, you'll know that this video is essentially the reverse of that, 5 Things That Watch Dogs 2 Does Better Than Watch Dogs Legion. So we're just going to jump right into it. First thing we have is the music app, or lack thereof, because there's no ability to change the music to a specific song in this game, which is different from the previous two games because you could actually choose which song you wanted. And not only that, there was a system called Song Sneak basically where you could go and hack different civilians and get songs, like download songs from them. So when you first started the game, you wouldn't have all of the songs, but then you'd have to go around to different NPCs and hack them to get different songs. But there's nothing like that in the game. And I I really don't see a good reason for them not to add a music player. Maybe it'll come in a future update, you never know, but it's still a little bit disappointing. It seems like something that they would have already put in the game. The next thing we have is faction diversity. Now what I'm talking about here is the different types of groups that you can get in trouble with. In Watch Dogs 2, there were like eight different groups, including the police, that you could all get in trouble with and, and have them chase you. Whereas with Watch Dogs Legion, it's just Albion and Clan Kelly, essentially. Honestly, it just gets kind of bland sometimes, you know, oh, I'm, you know, I, I made a, a, a Clan Kelly member angry. Now they're going to chase me for a few minutes and then I'm going to get off. Or I made Albion angry. Now I can just, you know, hack all the drones and I don't have to worry about it anymore. And this kind of goes with my third point, and that is the police slash Albion. It's that chases are just not eventful at all. They're not really interesting they're kind of boring and even on hard mode they're still really really easy to escape and even the police chases in Watch Dogs 1 were much much better than Legion you know Legion you shoot someone and instantly the police know where you are and start chasing you which is kind of disappointing obviously it is a little bit more realistic because Legion is set in a place where there's a lot more surveillance but it's still really disappointing it's not really fun like I just remember how fun the police chases were in the original game compared to Legion, they just feel really bland. And honestly, it just feels like more of an annoyance than anything at this point. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is the weapon diversity or the amount of options that you have. There's like five or six weapons or main weapons that you can get through the tech upgrades that you can actually get for any operative in the game. Obviously, there are special weapons for different special operatives like Aiden and Wrench and, and special operatives that you'll find around the world. But it comes nowhere near close to the amount of weapons or the options that you had in the first or second game. Especially the second game because the second game had some really really cool and interesting weapons like the paintball rifle or the air shotgun and that was honestly what I was expecting Legion to have and improve upon. You know I talked about it in videos before Legion even came out. Like they had so much potential to be able to make these really cool creative weapons that could you know be non-lethal. Like it's fine if they're all non-lethal but just you know add some style to them make some really cool weapons but you know all we got was a few shotguns and LTL weapons and it was just it was really really disappointing in my opinion and you know even in Watch Dogs 2 it had regular weapons and it had non-lethal weapons but it had a bunch of them that you could choose from and a bunch of them that you could use it feels like there's really no diversity as far as the weapons go and the last thing that I wanted to talk about was blackout and how blackout is something that I've always wanted in this game I feel like it honestly would fit in Legion better than it fit in Watch Dogs 2. Just imagine blacking out a whole, you know, few square blocks of London. Like, that would just be crazy. That'd be such a cool mechanic. This is something that I was honestly very, very disappointed to find out when Bloodline came out that Blackout just didn't exist. Obviously, with other things like the radio, they, you know, it's not impossible for them to add it later, but it would have made the most sense to add it during Bloodline when Aiden Pierce was there. They even used the same sound effect from the blackout from the first game with his ability, his system crash ability in this game. It's like, how are you gonna, How you might as well just add blackout. How are you gonna add this, you know, this ability and, and then have the sound effect that doesn't even fit with it really if you played the games. So yeah, those were five things that I think Watch Dogs 2 and Watch Dogs 1 even did better than Watch Dogs Legion. Let me know your list down in the comment section below. What do you think Legion could have done better at? Do you think they're still going to add some of this stuff? Let me know. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.